everyone, I'm Stella and I'm Amara's sleep and anxiety practitioner. I am making this little video today just to give you some tips on the basics of creating a strong sleep routine to provide a good platform for great natural sleep to emerge. So I've been working with lots of clients for a long time now and these tips that I'm about to tell you have really made a big difference for those clients. The first one is to set your bedtime and your wake up time and try and stick to those times. 30 minutes either side is fine. You don't want to be too rigid and strict. You need some flexibility. But if you're going to bed about 10, and getting up at seven, try and do that around about each night, even at weekends. I know we all love sleeping in at the weekends, but if you can try and keep it around that at the weekend, what it does is it creates a really um, strong routine. So your mind and your body expect that 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, whatever time you choose, that's bedtime. And seven o'clock or six o'clock or eight o'clock, that's get up time. We all love routine and so do our minds and bodies. So creating that strong bedtime, get up time is really helpful. My second tip is to, when you get home from school or college, do whatever you can to stay awake until your bedtime, okay? Don't go to sleep for ages, just Keep awake, do some exercise, go out with your friends, go to bed, and that is your sleep time when you go to bed. And that creates this really strong sleep drive, so when we get into bed, we feel really tired, which is a good thing, because then we fall into sleep more easily. The other tip is, um, and this is one that, um, some of my clients don't necessarily like, and I understand, I get it, but it's a really, really important one. Screens, phones, uh, iPads, TVs. If we're watching screens and looking at screens the hour before bed, that's really stimulating, and the light from those screens actually gives out blue light waves. Our eyes see those blue light waves as daylight. And so it stops us from making a hormone that makes us feel sleepy. At night when it's dark, if you've not got those, that blue light going into your eyes, your body will naturally produce something called melatonin, which is a hormone that makes you feel sleepy. Reducing the amount of screen time the hour before bed will help your body to make lots of lovely melatonin that will make you feel nice and sleepy at your bedtime. Tip number four, um, a lot of my clients, they like to have night lights in their room so it's not completely dark. That's absolutely fine, but if you want a night light, make sure that it's got a red light rather than white or blue. As I just said in the previous tip, white or blue light waves make your eyes think it's sunlight, it's daytime, and we don't tend to sleep during daytime. So our melatonin level, that hormone that makes us feel sleepy, drops. But if you've got a red light in your room, the melatonin is still made and so that sleepy hormone builds up and we feel nice and sleepy. So choose a red light. And my final tip for you is um, a lot of my clients, uh, if they find that they're unable to sleep, they'll get up and they'll go and draw, they'll go and write, they'll walk around, they'll go watch TV. Essentially, they'll get out of bed. Now, if they're out of bed, they're definitely not gonna be falling asleep. So, I ask my clients, or I suggest to my clients to stay in bed, because when they're in bed, they are resting. If they're in bed and they're staying still, and they're focusing on just being in bed, resting and preserving energy, then they're much likely, to, much more likely to fall asleep. 
They are my five tips for you. Good luck with those and I will see you soon.